Hi guys, my name is Jens Müller and I'm a PhD student at the Leibniz Institute for Baltic Sea Research. And last year, in 2016, I published a paper on long-term alkalinity trends in the November issue of Limnology and Oceanography. And the reason to investigate alkalinity trends is that we want to understand the process of ocean acidification in the Baltic Sea. On, on a global scale and in the open ocean, um, we see in these graphs here, which are taken from a publication of uh, Nick Bates, that the increase in CO2 partial pressure that we observe worldwide is reflected in a decrease of pH over the last 20 years. Ocean acidification going on. And this tight correlation between an increase in CO2 partial pressure and a decrease in pH only exists if the alkalinity stays constant, as it is the case in the open ocean. Because alkalinity is a measure for the buffer capacity of seawater. And if we compare this to what is going on in the Baltic Sea, then we see that for the last 20 years here, where we have a high quality in monitoring data, we see a consistent and linear increase in alkalinity at the rate of 3.4 micromoles per kilogram per year. And this increase in alkalinity in the Baltic Sea reduces the acidification signal that we can attribute to the increase in CO2 by around 50%. And if you are interested to find out more about why we think that we have this alkalinity increase in the Baltic Sea, or if you are um, interested in speculating together about how such processes may evolve in future times, or maybe even impact uh, conditions in the open ocean, then feel free to contact me on ResearchGate or Facebook or via email. Thanks.